What's up traders, Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol SPRT for support.com. On the left hand side, we're looking at the daily time frame and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday time frame. This of course will be more of an update since we have covered it in recent history here. So a couple of things that I want to both remind you of as well as talk about as updates. So the first thing is of course that in the last time we talked about support.com, we essentially said now is not the time to be chasing new longs if you're someone who hasn't been long from around 15 or even anywhere kind of in here sub 20, right? It's not the time for a set it and forget it type strategy. That's the bad news. That's the news no one likes hearing, but it's simply the truth. And the first thing that I want to reiterate here, the second thing I want to talk about is the price action development. So if we take a look at the 30 minute intraday time frame, you can clearly see that a new small downtrend has developed where we are forming high lower highs in here, lower highs and lower highs. And we're now coming into equal lows. And if we just draw this in again with some of our tools, you can clearly see that that is developing into a bit of a flush point or descending triangle, whatever you like calling it. Basically, we're looking for the flush under 3066 to take us into the top of the gap at 2637. And then we're watching very closely to see if we get the gap fill down towards 20, the whole dollar, in which case, as you know, from the last video we did, we're going to start to be on the lookout for daily hammers indecision dojis, basically anything that would make you question, is this pullback starting to end? Can we flip long over the highs and start to retarget some of these areas, which we have up above? So that's the first bull, uh, bull case pullback scenario into $20. If we break this flush point here at 3066, that's how I could see that potentially unfolding. Now, if this doesn't break, we break this, the uh, resistance trend line sideways through time that starts to raise another question. This starts to act more as price acceptance around this area here, probably 30, 35, somewhere in this zone, right? In which case you're starting to say, okay, if we can build out a structural base in here, now we can start to at least think maybe there's the potential for a breakout trade higher, in which case these levels aren't going to change. We still have this 3773. And after that, the 4580 uh, mark, which is going to unlock the move back up towards those highs around $60. So those upside levels don't change. But if we break the resistance trend line sideways through time, consolidate, find price acceptance in here, that would strike me as the next potential bull case again, if we don't break down from the flush point and descending triangle. So those are the updates I have to bring you here on support.com. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the perspective, really, let me know down below in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked down below in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.